And then we shot down one as well that was invisible. Also. Okay. Okay. Buddy. With your... You know I'm alive. What is going on you guys it's your boy ferg here back again with another call of duty mobile video and in today's video we are going to be discussing whether or not the icr is pay to win or whether it's just another gun in the game that you can use that's not the best so we're going to hop into a couple of domination games i'm going to run around the map and try and get as many kills as possible and see how good this gun really is and then give you guys my honest opinion on whether or not i think that it's pay to win so without any further ado like comment subscribe if you guys are new turn on notifications if you want to be notified when I upload a video, check out my other channels for Call of Duty Mobile linked down below and let's get into this. All right, so we are into our match here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the attachments on screen right now. I've got all the attachments right there and of course the perks as well. But yeah, I'm going to see if this gun is pay to win and I'll give you guys my honest opinion after I play a couple of matches. Obviously, we'll skip through, edit it up, cut it up. Heartless will do a good job with the edit. And I'll give you guys my opinion on whether I think this gun is pay to win or not. Now, straight off the bat, some things I want to say about this gun are that it is like a better M4. You guys know the gun, the M4 inside the game. It's the first assault rifle, I'm pretty sure, that you get. Um, oh, I got that glitch again. It's the first assault rifle that you get. And it's really, I don't know, the M4 is kind of lackluster. It's not one of the best guns in the game. But this is like an M4 on steroids, pretty much. It's the only, it's the only thing that I could say about this gun. It is so nice to use. The recoil on it is basically non-existent. It's whether or not the damage of this gun is too good. Oh, but the recoil is already really good. So we'll be testing it out here, obviously, in this video. I'm probably going to play maybe two or three matches um, and show you guys how good this weapon actually can be. Because I actually think it is a decent weapon. Whether or not it's pay to win is still to be decided. Because if I think that there's other guns in the game that are far better than this, like the AK-117 or the Type 25, or maybe the brand new... Um, oh, maybe the brand new buffed weapons like the LK-24. Oh, I didn't kill him. Oh, my teammate got him. I will let you guys know if they're better. But if this gun's better than all of those guns, then I will probably say that it's pay to win. Oh, we're going to go ahead and die there to a guy using an Arctic 50. The fact that this was not nerfed heavily in the most recent update is actually kind of annoying. They did nerf a lot of different things, but they didn't nerf the Arctic 50 sniper with the ACOG. I was actually thinking of making a video on it because it seems to be that any gun that I make a video on gets nerfed. So maybe I should make a video on the arctic 50 sniper rifle call it op and then hopefully it will get nerfed oh there's a guy over there nicely done we'll just go ahead and stay away from them i want to get a nook with this gun real quick um so i'll probably not use my spyro that much just because the spyro is obviously like you can't get a nook with the spyro anymore if you don't know they changed up how the nooks work inside of the game and you can no longer use operators to get nooks which is fantastic now i can finally stop seeing people spamming spyros across the map trying to get nooks of course I was one of those guys too. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit and lie to you guys. I spammed sparrows all the time. In fact, I said that the sparrow was gonna be nerfed the first day of release. Um because I knew how good it was. There's a guy trying to Arctic 50 me up top, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I think he might be. Oh, there's another guy over here actually too. I wanna use this to try and get that through the window. Oh, we we took too long to um throw it. That's fine though. Those guys are pretty weak down there. I should probably challenge them. There we go, we got one. We got both. Lovely. I've got UAV here as well. I'm trying to stay away from the Arctic 50 sniper user. He's up top still. Okay, so he's camping up here still. That's interesting. I know what I'm going to do. Whoa, pow! There you go, Arctic 50 sniper rifle user. If you're going to use that, I'm going to RPG you. It's really that simple. All right, so this gun is actually really nice. It's really, it's definitely a really solid gun. And um, I'm hoping that they bring out a free-to-play version of it, maybe without the skin. I obviously don't want them to release this, the skin version for free, but... If they could release a version of this gun for free that had no skin on it, that would be absolutely fantastic. This guy pre-fired me? Look at this guy, dude. He pre-fired me, bro. Oh, he must have had a UAV up in the air. Well played to that guy. Well played indeed. And there's a guy right here. I'm going to kill him. Nicely done. But the fire rate of this gun is quite slow. However, the damage and the accuracy of it... I mean... You guys can see right there. I'm not even using a grip. I'm not even using a grip dude and i can just cross map people hold up i'm gonna use the spire real quick to help out my team we'll shoot down that uav really quick where is the stealth chopper what the stealth chopper's invisible yo what the 
stealth chopper was invisible, dude. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. Nutty. What, they got another one? Are you serious? They have another stealth chopper? There's no way. That is nuts. Yeah, they do. What the? What is going on? Yo, dude, I can't actually see this thing. I hit it. <laughs> Yo, what the heck? This is such a this is such a random thing to happen in the middle of me up like creating a video about how good this gun is. What the heck? I've never seen stealth choppers actually be invisible. It's actually an invisible stealth chopper. What the heck? It's actually invisible. Yo, that's crazy. Either way, this uh, game's about to wrap up. We're, of course, going to win it. I'm going to hop into another couple of games here and see how good this new gun actually is and obviously tell you guys if it's pay to win. So I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, so we are into the second game and I feel like Crash is probably one of the most perfect maps to use this weapon. So I'm hoping that we can just drop a nuke and we can really test out and see how good this gun really is. I cannot believe last game that there was an invisible stealth chopper. There was three invisible stealth choppers because there was two in the sky at one time, which was really weird. And then we shot down one as well that was invisible also. Okay, okay. Buddy, hello? This gun is cracked. Yo, dude. Hold up, RPG. Oh, I was hoping I would get an RPG kill right there, but whatever. I can't even change weapons. Okay, there we go. We'll wait here for a second. There's a guy right here. Ooh, this guy seems pretty decent. RPG him, though. Yes, sir. I'm going to rotate back because I'm using an assault rifle, and long ranges is obviously better. There's a guy in here. Yup. He's probably going to come up here over at the window. We'll wait for him. Yup. What did I say? Called it. Called exactly what he was gonna do. I mean, what can you say, dude? What can you say, bro? There's a guy over here as well. Are we able to kill it? Oh, I, wow, okay. I stopped shooting at him for some reason. But yeah, as you can see, the fire rate, like I was saying, it's pretty slow. And But the damage is decent. And the accuracy, especially since I'm not using a grip, like this accuracy is nuts. It feels like the AK-117's kind of accuracy, except um, a much slower fire rate. Oh my gosh, that guy got turned on so hard. I need to run away before I die to these guys. Woo! Sliding in through the door right there. I was so close to death. We're chilling though. There's gonna be a guy down here, right? Yep. <laughs> he was waiting for me, dude. One thing I must say that's great about this update is there's an extreme lack of bots. They took out a lot of bots out of the game, so now there's only one bot, or maybe possibly two, if you're lucky. If you're lucky to get a bot lobby, that is, <laughs> in the game, which is fantastic. It's really, I'm really happy that they've done that. They took more and more bots. Like, also, you can shoot through the car's windows now, which is, I must say, that's probably one of my favorite additions to the game. Like, you can shoot through some of the car's windows. I'm pretty sure you can shoot through this side. I'm not sure if you can shoot through the back one. But either way, you can see through them a lot easier now as well, which is fantastic too. I just died to a bot. I, ladies and gentlemen, I just died to a bot. All right, moving on, moving on. We're testing out this gun. We need to see if it's good or if it's paid to win or not. I do like it. It's definitely, this is definitely, I must say, one of my favorite guns. Like, it's just fun. It's just fun. I love the skin on it as well. Like, see this camo, the dark matter camo? I think it's one of the best. You guys think I can get a nook in this game in one round? I'm not sure, we'll see. We'll see, dude. One half of domination. Another great addition is, if you see my mini map at the top of the screen, I'll zoom in on it here for you guys now, or my editor, aka Hart, will zoom in on it. You can see that it actually has name tags for places on the map, which is great for guys trying to learn where everywhere is in the map to call out to your teammates. It's fantastic. I'm really happy that they added that. There we go. We killed the one bot on their team that killed me last time. <laughs> Nicely done. I feel like there's less people. Yeah, there's only three people on their team. I guess what we'll do here is just go into a third match because you guys, I know you guys don't want to see me just go against third pe three people. So we'll just hop out of this match. I'll go into the next match and that will be the match where we get the nuke and where we really decide whether i think this gun is pay to win or not so i'll see you guys in just a second all right so we are into summit using the brand new weapon brand new map brand new weapon i mean what could go wrong what could go right we'll see of course we're playing domination again dude i love domination and i used to love summit when it first came out back in black ops one photo on the screen right now if you guys don't know what that game is but it's an old call of duty title from 2011 and this is where this map is actually from and i used to love this map back on that game so i'm hoping i love it as much on that on this game as i did on black ops one we'll see okay didn't hit the other guy at all my aim is poop. Wait, what? Where did he go? 
Oh, there's a guy right here. Whoa, that guy just got killed insanely fast. That is... What the heck? He got killed so fast. There's a guy right there. Shouldn't use the RPG for him. Nice. Should you use the RPG now, though? Yes, sir! Okay, we got a UAV as well. That's awesome. We can now see where people are. Gosh, this gun is so nice. Look how fast this gun kills, though. It kills so fast. Oh, my gosh, bro. Oh, dear, dude. These kids are getting destroyed right now. Let's go. Also, my sickness that I was talking about um, on my stream. Some of you guys may know I was sick for the past couple of days. That's why I was kind of monotone in my videos. But um, it's kind of going away now, so we're good. Oh, a headshot right there as well. There was another guy down here too, I believe. We're capturing B too. My teammates are actually going to go ahead and get it. Nice. We can call in this UAV really quick. Awesome. I'm going to uh, kill this guy hopefully from behind. Oh, he got three. That's unfortunate. I really wanted to take him on. Yep, we got him. Nice. Oh, there's a guy over here. Yep, I need to run away. He's got ghost on. That's why I didn't see him or why I didn't pre-aim him. We're running away. We're all good. This is a good spot right here, though. Oh, he's lucky, bro. He's lucky. Nice, getting that kill, too. Love to see it. I need to slide up here. Oh, there's a guy shooting me from behind. Wait, he's over here. Yeah, he's right there. I guess I think I can slide around this corner and kill him. No! Oh, the hit fire on this gun's nuts! I should not have got that kill. You can shoot through that with an FMJ on the B flag, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to hit him. Yeah, we did. We got him. Awesome. We're up to a Rithless now, which is great. That guy's weak, but I'm also weak now, so I don't want to challenge him. Oh, there we go. The first round has ended on this side of Summit. So we get to spawn into the other side now, of course. It's domination. Let me go. Spawning up top. I actually like this side better. I like spawning up top and then being able to look down. I feel like it's a lot and um, better to get kills because you're obviously on the high ground. Okay, let's run down here over to C. And then I'll jump straight up here. If you guys didn't know, you could jump up here. You probably know now because I've been doing it so much in this video. But <laughs> before this video, you might have not known. Okay, this guy's super weak. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> All right, let's call in the country UAV as well. Hold up. Can I go on top of here again? Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, I can spawn trap right here for sure. 100% can spawn trap. He's dead. Anyone else? No? Let me see this map. Mm, yeah, they're all spawning back. This spot's nuts. Look at this spot, though. If I could prone up here, this would be, like, a top five spot in the game for sure. It's a shame that you can't prone, though. Makes sense, though, because proning up there or over there would be OP. There we go. We got the nook that we wanted. There's a guy right here, right? Oh, he's going around the side. If you guys didn't know, there's a little alley right here, and you can go around. There's another guy right here, right? Is he going to peek out? Nope. Jeez. Oh, I just missed all my shots. Whiffed them all. Dude, the accuracy of this gun is insane. You can also go around here as well, which is kind of cool. Let's call in this nuke because I know the people in the comment section always say that I have to call in the nuke when I get it. I'm not allowed to not call in my nuke. Alrighty. Calling the hunter killer now as well. But honestly, to wrap things up, is this gun pay to win? I would say in a certain regard, there is some... There's some pay to win aspects of this gun. I mean, if you're not good at controlling recoil, then this gun would be the best gun in the game for you because it has very minimal recoil. You guys can see how much recoil it has right now. And I'm not even using a grip on it. You know what I mean? Like I'm not even using a grip on this weapon. Wow, they both pre-fired me. That's crazy. Is that a bot? Yeah, it was a bot. Wow, what the heck? Is it just me or are bots way better than what they were? I feel like bots are way better than what they used to be. Is that just me? I feel like they upped the difficulty of the bots, which is a good thing because it means when you get those one or two bots per game, I mean, it feels like a real player, right? It feels really good. And um, either way, they're also removing a lot of the bots as well. There's only one bot per match usually now in public matches, but is this gun pay to win? I want to say that it does have pay to win aspects like the recoil. Is it the best gun in the game for an assault rifle? No. I still think there's other better assault rifles in this game, like the Type 25 would definitely be better than it from the close to mid range. And then I still feel even with the nerf to the AK-1 117 i still feel like that gun would also outpower it long range i know that there was a big nerf to the ak7 with the recoil but i still feel that the ak117 is still one of the best guns in the game i might make a video discussing what i think about it and discussing whether or not it is the best gun of the game but yes this gun does have some pay to win tendencies really only one and it's just the accuracy the accuracy is insane with this weapon the damage is pretty good too but it's the fire rate that really lets it down so long ranges it's a good weapon and um, close ranges it's interesting you could probably get away with using it as an smg but i wouldn't go about 
just always using it like an SMG. Either way, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. I went 27 and 1, pretty okay. A lot of people left and joined throughout the game, so we didn't get to play the full match against like a full normal team. Either way, subscribe if you guys are new, turn on notifications if you want to be notified of when I upload. I do also have a streaming channel down below in the linked section. It will be the top link and also a third channel where I have just upload other Call of Duty mobile content as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you all. Without further ado, let's roll the outro. Bye!